Today we are talking about student rentals. Folks, if you've ever wanted to invest in student rentals in the Cleveland market, then you're going to want to pay attention to what I'm talking about in today's show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise. I am here to help people like you invest in real estate. There's a lot of ways to invest in real estate, folks. Flipping houses, Section 8, Airbnb, wholesale, and all kinds of stuff, seller financing. But today, today we're talking about student rentals, man, student rentals. reason we're talking about student rentals is because my guy Abe, investor from PA, uh, Abe, uh, <clears throat> we just closed on that little uh, low-income single-family house. Congrats on that, brother, right? We started uh, working together looking for a low-income house for you and your private portfolio, but you being the man that you are, you hit the ground. You started hustling. You started moving. You started putting pieces in place. And what you did is you found yourself a financial backer, a JV partner, right? You found yourself a money man, right? You guys want to get real good at real estate investing. You need a money guy behind you, right? And you got to do the hustle. You got to do the work. You got to do the due diligence on properties. That's what you did, Abe, right? You've shown a track record to this guy. You're working with me. You're set up, you got a team in place, and now he's willing to invest some money in you if you do a student rental, okay? And we got some student rentals out here. Now, what we have, we got several colleges in the Cleveland area, right? Colleges we want to focus on. Cleveland State University, John Carroll, Kent State, and Baldwin Wallace, right? Also University of Akron, but today we're talking Baldwin Wallace, right? Baldwin Wallace is a nice college, and I got a nice rental property right there, and I'm going to break down all the numbers for you and your financial backer right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up this deal, right? College rentals, man. We rent, we rent houses to the students, right? 147 Seminary Street in Berea, 44017. It's been on the market forever. 248500 is what they're asking for. It's been on the market for like 400 55 days they had it priced like uber high and then they've been dropping price and they were under contract and now it's available again and it's a badass deal it's a cool house i love investing in student rentals i like the city of berea as a matter of fact uh for those of you that watch my show often uh you may have heard me talk about my former career when i was 21 i was managing a radio shack that's when i bought my first house well the radio shack that i was managing was actually in berea right down the street okay right there and this is also right down the street from bw baby baldwin wallace university okay student rental love it but i still don't love that price 248.5 is too high we got to come in a little bit less than that we're close but not right there 225 is what i want you to pay and then what you get, you get a renovate or a rented student rental. It's already got tenants in there, a bunch of college kids. It's a big old house, and that's what you want, right? We want a big old house, right? Because what, what it is with college rentals, folks, you rent it out. You put them all on the lease. You don't, like, do it by the bedroom. It's not like you get six six college kids and you do six leases. No, it's one lease. It's 2300 and then you leave it amongst those kids, and they'll pack six kids, eight kids. I don't know how many they're going to pack in there, but they're going to pack in a crap ton of kids, right? But that's cool. That's how we get like $2,300, right, in rent out of a house like this, okay? So six bedrooms means at least six kids, okay? And they're paying $2,300. If Billy Bob doesn't have his rent and they don't have the full $2,300, you don't accept $2,100 or $1,900 or any of that nature. You say, sorry, kids, you're all getting evicted unless I get my money in full, right? That's how you do that keeps uh, problems away but 
We shouldn't have any issues. This has uh, been leased by these kids for a while. It's leased all the way through the end of July 2022. 2300 a month comes in. 27600 goes out. Now, got the chart, which shows your fixed and variable expense estimates. Now, when I do these single-family homes, a couple things I changed. Normally, when we do single-family homes, I want you to take a look at the lawn care. We normally push that off on the tenant, have the tenant do the lawn care. But uh, we're not going to do that here in this situation. It doesn't really work with the college kids, right? Nobody that's doing a college rental is thinking of this as like their home, right? Quote, unquote, their home, right? It's just a place they're going to live for a couple of years, right? So they're not buying lawnmowers and stuff. So we're going to have to do the, the lawn care, right? So you're going to have that $44 average fee. In addition to that, for single families, we're usually seeing a water and sewer bill around 75 bones, right? 75 bones a month. Well, this is a six-bedroom house, and we know damn well we're packing in six, at least six college kids. So I went ahead and doubled that up, too, to give you a more accurate projection of what your numbers should be, right? So the real net profit, in my opinion, the net operating income should be approximately $14,172 uh, a year, right? And if we get it at the price I want to get it for, two and a quarter, you put down 56 and a quarter, the bank would kick in. 168 and three quarters, right? And then that is going to come out to be a 10% cash on cash return. And this is just a solid, solid deal, right? Solid 10%. It's not going to get any more sound than this. Baldwin Wallace University ain't going anywhere, right? You're always going to have new tenants every single year. New tenants, new tenants. And the cool thing about college kids, you don't really evict them that often, right? If you start getting into low income, investing, right? Evictions become an issue, right? Why are these kids going to college, folks? Baldwin Wallace is like $40,000 a year, at least. It might be more, right? I haven't looked at how much college costs since I was that age, but it's a lot, okay? They're willing and able to pay that much for their future, and they're obviously worried about their future because they're paying that much money, right? So you think these kids want evictions on their record? No. And then oftentimes you can easily get the parents to co-sign, right? So I like college rentals in the respect that you don't actually uh, deal with having to evict people very often, right? Because these people, they care about that black mark on their record. Sometimes in the low-income space, those people don't give a shit, right? <laughs> That's just part of the game. So you, it's a very safe investment. The numbers might not be as sexy as other stuff you see, but it's just safe, it's sound, and it's always going to be there. And because of that, I love this deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.